here's what happened so far. Thorkel has returned home, having proven himself in the ceremony atop Cobblestone Tower, only to be told by his mother Amber that he's the reincarnation of the legendary luminary. Oof. Thanks for the uh, auto host Gavin UK86, much appreciated, buddy. The day has come that he must leave the comfort of Cobblestone to head out and face his destiny. After a tearful goodbye with all of his friends and family, he takes his leave and last sets out northward for the storied city of Helion. Alright. going on. Okay, two seconds. As soon as this fight's done, I'll put the I'll do the do the settings and put the volume and all that. System settings, volume settings, I put it at about six. Yeah, I put it at five. How's that sound? Does that sound a bit better? Hello, hello, hello. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. How's that sound? How's that sound? Cumbers appears. There we go. Thanks. There. The cruel cumbers are defeated. Florpil receives ten experience points. Florpil acquires twelve gold coins. It's so hard to say the word Florpil. I should have rethought that name. <laughs> are really hard to fight. They look like they would be. Toad oil. Oh, 
Let's see if these guys are hard to fight. Right. Nope, that is it. Absolute death. <coughs> so what have you been up to, man? I've not spoke to you for maybe a day or two. I mean, I spoke to you online, but I've, like I've not been on streaming for a while, so you know. Yeah, I, th I think I'm needing to just move on to the next area, thank you. Let's do that. Ah, oh, sweet! There's a sprint! Like, you can sprint. I wonder why you, like, I, I feel like the movement in this game is really quick. I don't see why you kind of need a horse. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's those little things, the things that caused the problem in the first place. Like, they went to the town and destroyed the... and turned it all to rain in that. Hello. Any stuff in here? No. Yeah, I feel like, you, like your character can move fast enough that he doesn't really need a horse. Especially if you can, like, just sprint for as long as you like. Like, that's a fast sprint, right? It doesn't feel like that much slower than the horse. Yeah, but not at least the same speed, uh, definitely. Right, they're telling me to go to Heliodor, but I kind of just want to explore just for a bit. See, there's a camp there. Let's see this camp. What is this? A couple of pots here. Chimera Wing, yes. That takes me to the last place that I rested. I'm sure. I've been sent from Heliodor Castle to make sure no one passes this way. The monsters up on Emerald Coast are nasty pieces of work. I'm not going to let anyone near them. Okay. Punk. The visuals in this game are totally splendid. Look at that! 
That's splendid, Leighton. Absolutely. That's fine, man. Just you being here and watching's enough. I really appreciate you taking the time out to hang about with me for a wee while. Hammerhood, nice. Oof, man. For Hammerhood. Fright Bulb. <laughs> Man, all these could be Pokemon. Hammerhood, Fright Bulb, go! Imagine a Pokemon game made by the same guy that done Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Quest. Like, the same as the Akira Toriyama guy. That would be class. Like, he just designed them all. Wouldn't make it like a bunch of Pokemon, Akira Toriyama. Okay. Two skill points, baby. Um, I don't think there's anything that I could use them on, eh? No, yeah. I have to, I have to wait until I level up. <coughs> Two seconds, I'm sorry, I've got the turn button. I'm going to really miss it. <coughs> Pardon me. I am so sorry about that. Who the heck there, son? My name's Hammerhood. I've got a hammer, and it looks like I'm wearing a hood. Ouch. I'll speak to you later, I'm dead. Smash. I think it might have something to do with my new card and my wireless internet connector not liking each other. I see. The Stark Raven is defeated. The Tony Stark Raven is defeated. The Iron Raven is defeated. <clears throat> bam, bam. <gasps> Stretch chest. Let's get the treasure chest! Freight bulb! Single file. Floor, floor, floor pool gratefully pockets is fine. What's a file for? What does that do? Um, items? Restores 10 MP to a single ally consumed upon use. I see. That's good. Yes! You don't actually have to dismount to collect the things. That's great. Sometimes I didn't have to disconnect my internet and then reset my computer. 
after it's up and running, I hook the internet back up. Wow. That's that's a bizarre problem to have. Sometimes you've got to disconnect your internet. And then reset your computer. And then once it's all up and running again, you've got to then you can plug your internet back in. Hmm. Is your computer slow? Like, is it running slow, or is it just like your internet is just being a douchebag? Because the reason I don't stream from my PC is because my PC runs slowly now, and I found out what the problem is. But I just can't be bothered fixing it. Have you come far? Well, you're safe and now well you don't await. Once you're in the city, you can find a nice inn and rest up. Lucky old you. Can I catapult myself in here, please? Oh, it's not a catapult. Okay, it's just a crate. Here's a ballista, though. Welcome to Heliodor! This is the largest city in all of Airdrie, you know. You should head downtown for a look at the livelier side of life here if you get the chance. <coughs> Hello Wolf, how you doing buddy? Yeah, that's the problem that I had, dude. I looked it up on YouTube, and it turns out there's a, there's a fix for it. Um, do you use do you use a specific virus checker, or do you just use Windows Update, like you know the the Windows Life Protection thing, like that comes standard with Windows, or like do you use like your own personal virus or like malware up checker, you know, like Avast or whatever. So very busy. I can see you. What the crap? I do use a vast right. So there's there's another thing that it could be then, right? If you're not using, because like I found out that my problem is that uh, it turns out that it's like it's Windows Defender for me. So I have to install something like a vast in order to fix it. Which I'm kind of like not really keen on doing because like I just like having Windows Defender there. Like it sorts it sorts itself out for uh, like after a little while, like after maybe twenty or so minutes, it'll fix itself. But the hundred percent disk usage thing, you should look it up on YouTube, man, um, because there's like a couple of things that you can disable on your Windows thing, like on your like something some like there's a couple of things on startup that you can that you can actually disable that will fix the 100% disk usage thing. Um, and, it, and it definitely helped for me. So you should maybe have a wee look at that on YouTube because it's like, it's really interesting. Today's game is steep, is it? That's the snowboarding thingy, the skiing, snowboarding, paragliding thingy. stand up here I can see folks walking down below sometimes they see me and smile and we have a little bit of a moment I have to see what you can find it's like there's something called like and then what was it called again now it's something you can disable called super fetch I think it is like you can disable super fetch and you can disable something to do with like windows 
there's like a Windows something something that you can disable as well. And if you disable both of them, that'll fix the 100% disk thing. And uh, I tried it once and it totally worked for me. But then I found out later on that I needed to like just install like another thing. Like like a vast or whatever. Hooray! Finally on PC. Good man. Again, thank you both for stopping in. It's always a pleasure, guys. Always a real pleasure to really hang around with you for a little bit. Welcome to Hillier Dog, greatest city in all of Edry. Please make yourself at home. Oh, and if you're wondering about the white speech bubble above my friend's head, well, that just means he's got nothing else to say right now. People like to get... People get like that sometimes, you know. Look at this place. A little beautiful, like, kingdom thing. Hello, kids. What up? Hey, woohoo! Hey, hey, you're fun. Shut up, get away from me. Um, what is it now? Like, I'm pretty sure it's something to do with uh, it cat. Like, it's something to do with cataloging. It's like, it's something there that's made to optimize grabbing files quicker, but. On some older hardware, it can make the machine run a lot slower than it was intended. Um, but yeah, like I said, like like don't don't take my words for it, man. Go to YouTube and like look up because there's a like there's a great number of people that's had the same problem as you and me, uh, and there's an there is an actual fix for it. So if you look it up on YouTube, the hundred percent disk usage problem for like Windows Seven, Eight, and Windows Ten. Um, You'll, you'll, you'll see that there's quite a lot of people that's got like the solution to it and they all say the same thing about like super fetch and Windows something or other that you can disable and those will uh, those will help it if you're not if you're not using Windows Defender like like I am using it and it turns out that that's a big problem for me as well so I've got to disable that but the only way you can disable that is by installing your own like virus checker like a vast or whatever so like I've got to do that still um, but I'm never really on my PC anymore anyway that's why I'm never really streaming on my PC it's because it's like it runs slow and I'm just never on it anyway but yeah uh, definitely have a wee look at that though because that's uh, <clears throat> there's one of my friends that found it out for me because like I phoned him up and he's like a big tech head like he's really into like computers and building computers and like how to fix them and things like that and he looked it up for me because I was telling him what was wrong and uh, he found out that it was to do with that like super fetch and all that um, I haven't seen your on her before hmm, your is it again well we won't find him around here but I head up to the car he'll go straight up the road climbing the steps and going Bob's your uncle just remember the shut gates as soon as the sun goes down the king needs to sleep you know Best off heading to Brighton Valley if you want an audience. That's not half of it. Then he. Nah, 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 nah. Oh, is this a quest board? New city means exciting new equipment to buy, so if it's your first time in town, be sure to pay us a visit. Your friendly neighborhood armorer is right by the fountain. Okay. place. This place is so full of life. Maybe just the one great will hurt. Lovely weather. If your feet are getting sore, I recommend to stay nice in. There's only there's one bar. There's one above the bar just over there. Roll up, roll up. The finest books in all of Erdre. <laughs> okay. That's the price, take it or leave it. I'm not selling you anything other than this pot. Or this sack. <laughs> Is that really the best you can do? What's in the sack, though? Mm 
Where's my body girl? Who's this? Oh, yeah. Where's he go? Beer and women, eh? What? Come on in, the end is to the left. Oh, they're coming. Excuse me. So, well, um... So, work, work, work. <laughs> dum da dum Oh, I am so sorry about your... What are they called again? Pumpkins, that's it. I can't believe I just forgot the word pumpkin. What outside is it all? No. Not for me, thanks. us to keep your hard-earned money safe. Deposits and withdrawals are accepted in multiples of 1,000 gold coins. Of course, our services are entirely complimentary. Cancel. Um, cancel. Yeah, I mean... Like I said, dude, like don't take my word for it. You should maybe like look it up look it up for yourself if you're kinda of weary of like that advice. But yeah, it's like it's certainly an issue that other people have had. And there is plenty of people on YouTube who are offering that advice, you know. their house. Like, what's the point in having this really well-realized village if you're not going to have, like, ways into your houses? Oh, great. I can interact with your paw. That's amazing. You don't have to get rid of it, man. Just disable it. Like, if, if you don't worry, like, like the, the solution is not to uninstall it, it's just to, like, stop it from actually starting up on startup on your PC. It's not like you're going in there and uninstalling anything. You're just setting it to not start up at the, the start on startup on your computer, you know? And it's not hurt my PC yet from the times that I've used it since. So, I don't know, man, like, again, just, you know, sort of, like, look, look it up for yourself if you're, if you're kind of worried about the ramifications of it. perfect evening. Work out, feel the burn, eat till you're fit to burst, and then go for a nice long walk. If you're going to travel the world, you're going to run into monsters, and that means you need to get wrecked. Do it! Do it! That ledge. Absolute ledge. Hello. No one sells sharper swords than me, mate. You can look, but you'd probably best not touch. Oft. Oh! That's nice. Yes, okay.
Let me go. Thanks. Right, I'd like to go into equipment actually. In fact, not equipment, items. Four pulse items. Transfer. Equipment bag. There you go. Every adventure is best pal. When the chips are down, it'll always be there for you. So come on, what do you say? Ooh. Leather armory. Takes you up to 25. Oof. That's really good. Items, Flurple, move to equipment bag, Trodane, transfer, equipment bag. Person crying. Oh, don't cry. Wah, wah, Amelia's stuck on the roof. She won't come down. Wah, someone help me. Amelia's stuck on the roof. You have to help. The girl wants you to rescue Am Amelia from the perilous rooftop above. Amelia's in a pickle. Okay. Rooftop? Which one? It must be up there. What happened to Wolf? I don't know. Maybe it's left. You know Wolf, always in and out and in and out and shaking it all about and doing the hokey pokey. Just 
going inside people's cupboards and total looking about in that. Yes, there we go. I'm having fun! Okay. Tell her the good news. Whoa! You did it, Amelia got off the roof. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Here, take this. A bag of K letter. Probably you can climb down chimneys, oofed. Mission was transgressed with finesse, apparently. You name it, I've probably got it. Don't leave without getting stocked up on all your adventuring essentials. No, no, no. It's like, you don't have much of stuff, do you? Kayler hype! Kayler hype! Oh, what was that? Oh no, it's turned to night! Whoa! Look at this. What a beautiful game. Hello. Ah, that. Feel that evening breeze. The breeze. Then he says to me, Check it out! Wondering what to do next day. Eh? When you can't wait for the next day, turn and turn in for the night. Go to it and get your head down. It'll be morning before you know it. Man, I don't need your advice. I know how to have a good time. Lovely. Um, items. Seed of agility. powder that purring pets apparently prefer. <laughs> That's nice alliteration there. Toad oil. Fresh water. Flintstone. Meet the Flintstone. have a party yet. We've still to get to that point where we're having a, we actually have a party. Hey, how did you get in here? This area is off limits. Clear it off, will ya? The Kayler? Hmm. Yeah, maybe. If it is, yes. Yes. Kitty litter. Flurry feather. What a wonderful looking game.
that you didn't know about the rope on the roof, did you? You could use it to get up swanky part of town. Church. Nice. Oh. Maybe just a useless item that will sit in your inventory until the end of the game. <laughs> That's uh, one of my biggest problems with RPGs, man. I never ever go to the shop and sell anything. I always just grind the money if I need money. A mini metal. There's one of those little creature things again. Even if I had, even if I have like hundreds of the same item, I never sell them just in case. Just in case I need it. Traditionally, I stand on the side of the counter and you stand on the other. Want to give it a try? <laughs> okay, sir. I made a wing. Sorry to bother you. Something interesting about that house, you can climb up to the roof from the back garden, and there's a rope you can cross. Yep, already done that, mate. There's a couple of barrels here that I can throw them. so much. A seed of sorcery. Lovely. That must mean you can put your magic up as well. Let's do it. Lifted up that permanently increases magical might by a little, consumed upon use. Let's do it. <clears throat> it's a lovely night. 
I'm so happy I met you. Just being new makes me so happy I can burst. If you ask me who I most wanted to be in the, to be in the world, I'd have to say Sir Hendrik. But then every man in the kingdom would say the same thing. He's basically an all-round legend. They say that when the world's in trouble, a true hero will appear. They must be talking about him. So many fancy houses till we can... All's well in hell, you know. Oh, doggy! Hey ya! Arf, arf, arf. Hey ya! <laughs> I love it here, it's simply marvellous! Do you know the best part? Oh, fan only fantastically rich folk like yours truly can afford to live here! Um, You look like a peasant. <laughs> How could you? Like, that little girl looks more, like, looks like she's got more money than you, Hen. Time to go home! What do you think? I'm smashing your pots for you, Hen. Hello, doggy. I like dogs. I'm causing trouble in Heliodor. What are you going to do about it, guys? The master is home. What up, darling? Yeah, so I got to say, thank goods for that. Goodness knows where he got the money, but that rich fellow just what? Just turned up and bought a prime lot of land and had a huge house built. He was a great big show off. You are absolutely stunning him. Very stunning. Um, your mouth's a wee bit weird, but okay. That's fine, though. We can work with that. So sleepy! Okay, so these are just like big one, one room things. It. Ah, it feels like everything's going to be all right forever. Oh, there we go. Daytime. Spent enough time here. Making a mockery of the English language and hundred gold coins, nice. There's a book called The Lure de Lure of the Dingy Dungeons. Flurple takes it from the shelf and has a closer look. 
far below the basements and storerooms of Heliodor Castle. Deep within its very bowels lies a dungeon that housed the most heinous and hardened criminals in the kingdom. Many who have been locked away in these cold, dank cells have not lived to see the outside world again. Those whose crimes are deemed truly unforgivable are thrown into the deepest cells of all, from which it is said to be all but impossible to escape. A death sentence, a death sentence in all but name. Take care to stay on the right side of the law, dear reader, lest you be locked up too. Lest you too be locked up and the key thrown away forever. Question. Do you like the Dragon Ball style art of this game or do you find it a little off set? I find Akira Toriyama's artwork weird. <laughs> um, it's not unsettling. It's just such a weird way of draw like it's a it's a quintessential art style for anime it's definitely it's definitely a sp very you could tell it's his style you know um but yeah I, I don't find it unsettling i just find it weird like just the people just in general just kind of look bizarre <laughs> pardon me wow Yeah. Melly done, thank you for the host, dear. I'm assuming that's the castle then. I don't know why I go too far out in a limb, but I'm assuming that's a castle. Wow, look at this. I wonder how much it's worth. If I sold it, I bet I'd never have to work again. Well, thank you. Bless you, thank you. Here we go. Next part of the story, I guess. Finally, after like what, 54 minutes? Halt! Not so fast. Halt! Not so fast. State your business. Flockle explains that he's the luminary and he's come to speak to the king. I'm the luminary! And I've come to speak to the king. <laughs> <laughs> Here, shake my hand, mate. That's the funniest one I've heard all week. Cool, cheers, mate. Clear off, will ya? We haven't got time for this kind of nonsense. You would have shown that pendant, remember? Oh, yeah. Oh. What's that? You want to show that pendant to the king, you say? Oh. Uh -huh. Do you mind waiting here a minute? The king wants that pendant for himself. Huh? Ever so sorry for that little misunderstanding. Please, go right on through. His Majesty's waiting for you. Well, thank you for finally listening to me. Heliodor Castle. I think, mate, this is mine. Welcome to Heliodor Castle. How long have I waited to meet the luminary? <laughs> what an unnecessary waste of space all this is, eh? Like, what is this for? <laughs> to think it's been so many years since Dundra's Sills attacked at the terrible horde of monsters. King Carnalang was lucky to make it out alive here. And his daughter, the princess, well, she wasn't so lucky. The world can be such a cruel place. Who would have thought that a beautiful kingdom could be wiped out just like that? Curse those monsters. Or at least we have Sir Hendrik. With a hero of Heliodor to protect us, we won't be going the same way as Dundrasil anytime soon. Leave me. 
His, master, his Majesty is waiting for you. Go to the throne room, head out these stairs, and go straight on. I, well, would like to check this place out. Oh! Just running around. Curious power emanates from the roots wrapped in this tree. Wrapping this tree, sorry. This tree has been here since before I was born. It is simply magnificent. It requires no care, but retains its noble form entirely naturally. You must be the luminary. You've created quite a stir, you know. It's nice to be able to meet you in person. Sorry about your barrels. Carnalan behind the throne. Flipple takes a look at the closer look. Having seen several generations of his line, I can say with some certainty that King Carnalan is a rare breed of monarch, possessed of all the qualities required and true and a truly great leader. Both loved and feared by the populace, he is like a father to them. St kind yet stern, firm yet fair. Not since the days of the great kings of old has our nation been so blessed. Though his face may have grown hard and lined since that terrible event that took place a few short years ago, some might say that he, this has added a certain depth that improves him yet further. To have, uh, to have so resolutely overcome such grief, and yet still led his nation boldly onwards, is surely a sign that Carnalain, 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 is a king among kings. Okay. Made of our steel was in your chest. Hands off, urchin! Those gifts to the king! You as much as touch them and you'll be sorry. Sorry, what? I'm stupendously wealthy and I have brought marvellous gifts for the king. Now I hear that he means to grant an audience to some upstart. And that I must, w and that I must wait. <laughs> well, I'm going to look at your book. This book is called Ergian Geographic. Flutwell takes it from the shelf and has a closer look. Of the many nations, both large and small, that make up Erdria, there are five of the so-called Great Five <laughs> that stand above all others in the eyes of the world. Ancient and honourable Dundrasil, steadfast and stony Heliodor, Galopolis with its noble desert knights, Sniffleheim <laughs> with its snow-capped towers, Sniffle because it's snowy, and last but not least, Zwardrust. Zwardrust. Carpeted in flowers. These five nations guide the world, meeting every few years at the great conference known as the Colloquy of Kings, in order to steer the course of Berdrian affairs in a direction agreeable to all. So what's those new clothes look like? Um, I think... Oh, crap. Two seconds. Um, I think there's only, like, one set of clothes. Like, equipment bag. Wayfarer's clothes. Yes. Oh, transfer, sorry. Purple. Yeah, I don't think it like it doesn't make a difference to his appearance. 
The only ones that do are the the Dragon Quest Eight ones. And the leather armor is just there, so I'm gonna use that. Oh, equip. Yeah. It's a shame that there's no... Uh, yeah, see the Trodane ones there. The Trodane ones are like the... They were like DLC ones. But they're only good enough at the very start of the game, you know. Maybe if you can upgrade them, they'll be better, but I don't know. Dun 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 Run! Sprint! Hello, knights! Nothing. Phew, the training was brutal. The training with Sir Hendrick is exhausting. I'm just, little, just taking a little breather. Sure, buddy. Man. You get no judgement from me, buddy. Training seems like an awful lot of hard work. It's the luminary. Yeah, uh, very nice to meet you. I'm a bit busy with my reading at the moment, though. Could you speak later, baby? If you take the DLC ones off, can you see the other ones? Um, I'm not using the DLC ones now. The DLC ones are the Trodian ones. They're they're in the equip. Like, see, I'm using leather armor and leather hat hat right now. Um, I'm going to items though and go into my equipment bag. The Trodian ones are there. And that was the ones that I was going to start off with. Well, you know, the ones with the, the yellow and the, with the headband and that. You know what? I'll put these in his bag. Uh, transfer to Flurple. Put them on. Um, Trodian transfer, purple. Yes, there you go. That was what I originally looked. Not what I originally looked like. That was what I put on as the DLC ones. But I have stuff that's just statistically better now. So, oh, the other hat, quick. Trudian top, leather armor, equip. Yeah. I cannot help, really. Hello, everybody. This is the King's Chamber. What's up here? Ask that you speak with him right away. Please make your way to the throne room. It's an awful lot of running around from that, eh? No, not to the balcony. The throne room. Uh, 
There we go. Hello. Close enough. Welcome to Heliodor Castle, friend. Nice here, yeah, get on. The jewel of Dundrasil. Hello, Wolf. The jewel of Dundrasil. You are bold indeed to have made your way here alone, Wanderer. I am Carnelian, ruler Carnelian. of Heliodor. Aye, okay. How long have I waited for this day? And now, finally, we meet. Truly, it is an honor. Kill me. The fact that you come here proffering the jewel and asking to speak with me personally would suggest that you know something of your true, true nature. nature. My true nature? I take it that you <coughs> also bear the mark. Put up my hand there. The mark of light. Then there is no doubt. You are he. Rejoice, dear subjects. The day is upon us at last. The luminary walks among us once more. Hurrah! 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 Tell me, O oh luminary. Where exactly is it that you hail from? I would so very much like to pay tribute to those who took you in and raised you. Oracle tells King Carnelian, Carnelian that he was raised in the village of Cobblestone. Bad idea, mate. He looks like a bad guy. He's going to totally raise that place to the ground. I see. Cobblestone, you say? Jasper, you know of this place? I do, my liege. A village of provincial nobodies deep in the rocky south. Then I take it you know what to do. Do not disappoint me. Yes, my liege. I knew it! Cursed luminary. I know not what your intent was in coming here alone, but whatever your wicked scheme, know that it shall not succeed. <laughs> Hendrik, take this cur, this harbinger of calamity, and cast him into the furthest corner of the dungeon. Know this. The luminary is the root of all evil and will bring naught but misery to our realm. Shock, and why idiot. is this? The reason is simple. Just as light is intertwined with darkness, so too is the luminary intertwined with the dread lord of shadows. His coming heralds the resurrection of the Dark One. Did you really think you could fool one as wise as his majesty? It was your great misfortune to confront one who knows your true nature. Not, not a very big plot twist. <laughs> Man, seize this wretch! Like, what was with the big axe then? Like, huzzah, hooray, like, the luminary is among us. Like, the doors were closed. It was not like he was acting for anybody else. 
Like, what was the point? Ouch, ouch, ouch. Oh, I'm starting to get rid of the sword again. Dang it. You claim to hail from Cobblestone. Well, oh. before the sun has set three times, we shall know the truth. Two seconds, guys. I need to stand up and walk this off a wee bit. My legs are killing me. I'll be right back. Oh! Oh. 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 
Ooh. Sorry about that, guys. My legs started getting really sore there from sitting the way I was sitting. Oh. Yeah, I should maybe do something about my health, eh? <laughs> oh, come on. It was like, it felt like my, my the nerves in the back of my legs were getting pinched. Or like my veins or nerves or something like that. Maybe, <laughs> maybe tonight will be the night that I get my deep vein thrombosis and just die. <laughs> Hopefully not. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> Say one. Just, <laughs> just as I get my message saying that Kingdom Hearts 3 has been shipped as well. <laughs> oh, man. Sorry for worrying you guys. Um, don't worry, it's fine. Right, okay, anyway. Claim to hail from Cobblestone well. Before the sun has set three times, she'll know the truth. By then, Jasper will have returned from his investigation. If I were you, Dark Spawn, I would not expect to live beyond that day. Hmm. A hero in chains awarded for fulfilling your duty and travelling to Helio Castle, only to be damned as the dark spawn and thrown into the dungeons by King Carlin. Okay, your adventure awaits. Now poop, please. I'd love to poop. <clears throat> Sheesh, keep it down, will you? There goes the neighbourhood. Will you keep it down in there? Most folks they throw in here have the decency to wait a while before going stir crazy. It's not that, dude. I mean, like, it's it's just pain, you know. I mean, like, it's something that I've been living with for the past two or three years now. Um, I don't know exactly what it is, other than pain, though. You know, like, it's just something that I, I cope with. I mean, like, if it makes you feel any better, what I can do is I can maybe take a couple of paracetamol to try and dull the pain. But outside of that, there's not much I can do because the pain's always going to be there, you know. <clears throat> That's usually why I only stream for like uh, a couple of hours at a time, but it's only been an hour and 20 minutes. And I don't get enough time to stream this game, and I'm actually really enjoying the game. Like, I'm, I'm enjoying playing this, so like I want to spend as much time as I can playing it. <coughs> and if I stop now, then I'll have to wait until the next time I stream, you know? What are you in for, anyhow? You don't get free bed and board down here without having done something pretty bad. Wait, did you say the luminary? You're serious? Yeah, I'm the luminary. It's your problem, mate. You're telling me the luminary has just shown up in the cell next to mine. This is crazy. I'm not going to overdo it, man. If it gets to the point where I'm like, screw this, I really need to lie down, then I'll definitely do it. But yeah, like, I want to, I want to try and continue on with this. One plate of delicious gruel for the gentleman in the dungeon suite. Come and get it. Huh. 
Ouch. Wait, why did you give the guy that's serving them food the keys? What's the point? Like you could have you could have done that any time, mate. Block twist. Here, you'll be needing you? this. You're serious? So it's all happening just like the seer said it would. Oft. Plot twist. He's been told that he would meet this meet the luminary. We'd better get out of here. New ally, definitely. <clears throat> Red! Red! Oh! Doogie, thank you! Is it. What is it, Doogie? Oh, it's Lard! Lard Teamaker! Whoa! Lard boy, thank you for the raid, buddy! Oft! Who's the legend? Punished, Punisher Gaming TV just followed me. Thank you, Punisher! Woo! Woo! <laughs> Thanks very much, guys. Look at that! It's went up to 35! Oh! My goodness. It's the most I've seen in forever. Thank you very much, Lard. How you doing, buddy? How's everybody doing? I'm just playing a wee bit of uh, Dragon Quest uh, 11, guys. Thanks for uh, stopping in. Look at that! 38! Ah! Can't believe it. That's crazy. Uh, so just to catch us up, this guy uh, is apparently the reincarnation of the Luminary. He's went to talk to the king about it, and the king's like, Oh, you're evil, because the Luminary is bad. So he's been locked in the dungeon, and that's what's happened so far. So, <clears throat> And he has, yeah, he's just been let loose by this guy. There he is, there. Wait here. Wait here. Oh. Oh, Joy90 started hosting me. Thanks for the host. Oh, Joy. Son of Otty followed me. Hey! <laughs> That's the most follows I've had in one day since I started, I think. <laughs> Oh hell, I've got to follow you just for the fantastic Scottish broke. Alright mate, he's a gun. Son of Otty. Cheers man, cheers for the follow. <laughs> Played a bit of this Punish Gamer TV, Warnio's finished it. Hi Warnio. Still doesn't beat Dragon Quest 7 though, uh, 8. But it came close. Have you played a wee bit of Dragon Quest 8 on the... Uh, on the 3DS, buddy. Uh, I, ne I never managed Don't to get worry, it on the. I, kill him. I never but managed to get it on the uh, PS2 too. back in the day, but I heard it was really good, so I got the 3DS version. Mm, I beat Dolmegas, and that's where I am. The story just now. Um, be waking up anytime soon. Okay, so you get pretty hairy up ahead. You'd better take this. My sword. Hey. Oh, and I found this in a corner over there. I guess it's your stuff, right? Awesome. Florpal Me? receives his I lost got this little beauty back, so now I'm pretty much unstoppable. Who's this guy? We better get out of here before any more of our tin-headed friends come knocking. Have a cool last thing. Follow and you ready to move out, okay? Oh, nice one, man. Excellent. Excellent. Better get out of here before more of our tin-headed friends come knocking. Holler when you're ready to move out, okay? Sure. <laughs> the 
the, all the character designs are designed by the guy that done Dragon Ball Z, buddy. So if you're into Dragon Ball Z, that's what, that's the reason why it kind of looks. Maybe like what you're accustomed to. <clears throat> Brendan the Quinn's back from his run. How's it going, dudes? Okay, I'm here. How's it going? <laughs> Hello, Prue. Lark T Maker just gave me like a total fantastic raid. Um, could not believe it. The door is locked tight. The guard is unconscious. Can I get the key for this place, buddy? I'd like to get those two treasure chests. I spend Ray. ages digging this hole, and you just happen to show up the day I finish it? I'm not late, you're Heck late. Heck of a coincidence. <laughs> Hiya, Rach. How you doing, dear? Guess I really was meant to help you out. Just like the seer said. Oh, maybe. I'm really good, Rach. Thanks very much. Uh, I, was in a, I was in a bit of pain earlier on, but I went uh, I went for a, a quick wee stroll around the house like to stretch and that, and uh, I'm feeling a bit better now. But, yeah. Oh, great, thanks. Good to hear it. Good to hear it, dear. Anyway, there'll be time to talk about all that later. In you go. Let's go! Can I get the key off you, buddy? I want to, I want to open these chests. There's chests in here. No! Thanks again, Lard, for the the lovely, lovely raid. Super, very much appreciated. <sighs> the sewers, huh? Well, there must be a way out somewhere. Lead the way. I got your back. I got your back. <laughs> I got your back. Sorry about your barrels. Right. Oh, it's no map. Oh. Doors locked tight. Let's go. What is that? It's a wee owl bird thing. Alright, with big eyes. Doors locked tight. Doors locked tight. Okay. Sorry about your barrels. Sorry about your barrels, pal! There they are! You lot, over here! It is an owl. Yes! Got it and I wanna. Damn it! We better make ourselves scarce. Run away! All oh, right, okay, run. Go on this way. Follow my lead. Right, snuff that torch out. Follow my lead. Yes. Spotify just recommended nickel back to me. I demand a refund. Oh no! Group of Heliodorian guards drove here. Ouch. Uh, 
tactics. Alright, okay. He's not technically a part of my party yet. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Because he's not officially joined yet. Who else wants He's not got a name. <laughs> Uh, how far are you through the game now? Like, uh, through, uh, what, what happened is I literally went to the castle, like the people told me to go, you know, the, the townsfolk were like, go to the king, tell him you're the reincarnation of the luminary. So I went there, and exactly what I thought would happen, happened. Threw me in the bloody dungeon and sent his guards to do a slaughter the, slaughter the village. Not cool, man. Not cool. So this is me just trying to escape the dungeon now. Oh! I see. Get across that bridge, go ahead and check it out. Guys, don't give up, do they? Oh. No. Seriously? <sighs> no, not wargs. No, that's all we need. Oh, my goodness. You okay? Looks like we shook the guards, at least. And that looks like a way out. Maybe our luck's about to change. <laughs> yes, we can finally get out of here. Then we have a new party member, guys. Wonder what his name's gonna be. Wonder if you can actually name him. Oh lovely, there's a save point there. Um Move any curses. Cures poison. Save. Yes. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, I want to continue. Nothing just now, dear. Thank you. <gasps> uh oh. Is that a dragon? There's a dragon there, guys. What the crap? We are going to be fighting our first dragon in Dragon Quest XI. No, not a werewolf dragon! Wargy dragon! No! Wait, there's something there. No, I've seen it before you, mate. I've seen it before you! I knew it was there! He's adorable! He's like a cartoon dragon! Friendly dragon. Fuck the friendly dragon. Ow. I don't think he's gonna be friendly. If we stand and fight, we're dead. Let's get the heck out of here! 
I thought we were going to get fainted. Dang it. Ah. Run. You need to move now. I wanted a dragon fight as well. But obviously, the dragon's like way too powerful. Well, here goes nothing. That'll be like end game content when you're like level 99 or so and you get to fight the dragon. <sighs> I think we gave it the slip. Huh? No, we've not given the slip. Spoke too soon. Run, everybody, run! Ah! We're dead, meat. Run if you don't. If you don't run, we're dead. This dragon. We are absolutely spirit. Like all the monsters are running away as well. <laughs> oh no! Oh, the metal slimes! Dang it! Cool, <laughs> Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> Heck! <laughs> That's a cool looking dragon, like, I like that. I like that dragon. And this game's gorgeous, like. Has it gone? Whew, that was way too close for comfort. What's that thing doing under the castle anyway? Well, whatever. We should get going. Let's. Let's get going. Uh-oh. Oh, he's not happy, like. Dragon flame. Ah! Run! Ouch. That's them dead, like, just the end credits start rolling. <laughs> he is definitely getting triggered. We made it. Just. I don't know how much more of this I can take. Huh? <sighs> There he is, the Dark Spawn. Yeah, they're calling they're calling him the Dark Spawn now, because he's the apparently the Luminary heralds the, the coming of the Dark One or something uh, like that. Me and my big mouth, move <coughs> now. Uh, move now. Sure thing, buddy. No worries, dude. Thanks for stopping in anyway. Even if even if I stop before. By the time you come like back, man. Thanks for stopping in, bud. There they are. We've got them now. Cheers, buddy. Hmm. No way back, huh? If they catch us, we're dead meat. We need to jump. Are you insane? Hold. <laughs> Let's do this. I believe in you. I believe in the luminary. I don't have much choice. Come on. Let's not do anything stupid now. The name's Eric, by the way. Eric? <laughs> My name is Florpole! <laughs> like purple, but a fluorescent purple. <laughs> Florpole. <laughs> the name's Eric. My name's Florpole! Whoa, was that just the prologue? Oft.
Well, here we go then. Hello! I've got green hair! Hello, I've got pigtails and I'm wearing red! I can't believe I've been playing the game for four hours and that was just like the prologue intro. <laughs> what a crap. Hey! Dog. GG guys. <laughs> That's the end of it. Alright, that's it. Thanks for watching guys, it was lovely. Cheers! Nah, I'm joking, that's just the start. That's just the beginning. We only just got our first first character into the total party. <laughs> Get that guy with the moustache. Awesome. Oh, so I want to fight that octopus. Yes, we get to fight that guy with the purple hair. Look at that uh, snow! Flying on dragons! Hey! Look at the sun! Oh, yes! Look at that! I kind of wait for all that to happen and look that good while it's happening. <laughs> yes! That's awesome. That looks so good! What an intro, eh? Oft. Record your activities in the adventure log? Yes. Want to start a new game plus? Eh? I'm only level 6. Escaping with Eric. I'm only going to be on for another maybe 15, 15 or so minutes, guys. But if you've uh, if you've jumped in with a large teammaker and you're enjoying what you're seeing, then don't be afraid to hit that follow button. I'll probably be on tomorrow. Um, I appreciate anybody that's uh, stopped in, though. All, all the same. Thanks for spending a little time with me. Much appreciated, guys. Guys and Come gals. Come on, up you get. Finally. I was worried we'd lost you for a minute there. You've been out cold ever since we jumped. Had to drag you all the way here on my own. Well, I'm sorry. But what a jump it was. I closed my eyes, put my faith in the luminary, and somehow didn't get smashed into a thousand pieces. That's hilarious. In fact, I woke up on the forest floor at the bottom of the cliff without a scratch on me. Amazing what a little faith can do. Ain't that the truth, buddy? Anyway, I guess you and me must be at the top of the King of Heliodor's most wanted list by now. Which means we can't hang around here too long. Let's go say thanks to the nun who looked after us and be on our way. Sure. Hero Hounded, awarded for making a daring escape from the dungeons of Heliodor Castle and sneaking through the sewers with Eric. Sorry, Heliodor Castle. I'm gonna uh, smash these pots. Yes. Flaxen thread. Thanks, lady. children. I trust that your friend here is fully recovered. 
Sure. Oh, don't worry about him. He's just fine. Yeah, thanks for looking out for us. We owe you one. Not at all, dear. I'm just happy to see you both well again. But if you are leaving, you must be careful on the road. It seems some dangerous criminals have escaped from the capital and are at large somewhere in the area. Oh, I shudder to think what wicked deeds they might be capable of. Wait, is she talking to us? Criminals, you say? Dear me, that doesn't sound good. And you heard this when you were Gotta in Hollywood. Gotta hop off and try and finish the script before five. Nice to see you. Thanks very much, Rach. Catch you later, dearie. Bye for now. Schlatter now, eh? Schlatter him. I did indeed, my child. There were guards everywhere. They are searching high and low for the villains. And I heard that the mighty knight Sir Hendrik himself has headed to the mountains in the south with his troops. They say he means to block the road to Cobblestone, the village the fugitives came from. <laughs> oh, but you must forgive me, poor lambs. I did not mean to alarm you. They will right. soon be caught, I am sure. Justice will be done. And until then, you are free to remain with us for as long as you please. Well, aren't you just a darling? Thanks. We appreciate that. Um, we're going to get a little fresh air. We have a few things to discuss. Right? Sure. Let's do it. Bye. Cobblestone, eh? Never heard of the place. I never even knew anyone actually lived in those mountains down south. Is that really where you're from? I'm guessing you want to go see what's happening down there. But you need to be smart. You won't get past Hendrik unnoticed. If you're going to make it there without getting caught, you'll need to avoid the main road. Hey, Epic, if there's follows going... Ahem. If there's follows going... Ahem. All right. <laughs> I hear you. Um I'll click on your name and I'll go to view info and then I'll go to follow. I followed son of Otte. Guys, follow son of Otte, please. Underscore Son of Otti. There you go. Follow that guy, please. He's given me a nice follow. Who as such deserves to be super rewarded by anybody that's willing to follow him back. Including myself. So I followed you, buddy. Thank you very much. <laughs> By the way, it's like Ode, not Otter. Okay, Ode, Ode. I see. I'm not finished yet, buddy. Still got maybe another 10 minutes or so. 
Uh, I'm new to this type of game. It's nice to hear that uh, no experience was budgeted in the voice acting. <laughs> and if you want to do that, no expense you need my help. The voice, the voice acting's all right. Road there That's is not bad. In these parts. Uh, Blacks are Boro Boro looks the case. Boro silicates. Blacks are Borosilicus. Has just followed me. Thank you for the follow, buddy. Much appreciated. But I've got things to take care of in Heliodor first. I left a little something in one of my old haunts downtown, and I need to get it back. Well pronounced, you're the first one to get it. <laughs> Borosilicus. Blacks are Borosilicus. Nice! That's a cool name, by the way. So, are you coming along for the ride? I did help you follow, break buddy. out of that dungeon, remember? So, you're coming along for the ride? I did help you out of the dungeon. Yes! That's the spirit. But we can't have you bringing us any unwanted attention. Ah, I've got just the thing. Here, put this on and keep your face hidden. Otherwise, you're going to get nabbed as soon as you set foot in Heliodor. Okay. Oh, cool. I've got a cloak. <laughs> That's more like it. If you're going to be a wanted man, you might as well look the part. Right. Let's head north and hit town. Sure, okay. Glad you're coming along. The seer told me to stick with the luminary when I found him, and that's just what I'm going to do. Cool, buddy. Eric and Flurple join forces. <laughs> wow. I feel stupid making them <laughs> using the name Flurple. Like, in selecting the name, I was like. What would Game Grumps call this guy? <laughs> I was like, eh, it would be something like... Flurple? <laughs> pet Powers. A pet power is an incredible ability that can be performed by two or more party members when at least one of them is pepped up. Select Pet Powers from the menu when it appears to see what exciting abilities you can unleash. Depending on the tactics each character is set, they'll either perform powers automatically or wait your orders. Take a look at the Traveler's Tips to, to learn more. Okay. Um, I would like to... Oh, crap. Equipment. Noodles, everybody. Brendan and the Quins has got noodles. Flopper works great since his arm was purple too. The thing is though, right, is that it's really hard to say in a sentence. Like flurple. <laughs> how do you how do you say flurple in a flurple or minute of your sentence? It's so difficult. Oh, the quest here. Who's this? Who is this? She looks like she's from Dragon Ball Z. Or he. It's wearing like Super Saiyan armor. So the blue haired chap with you is called Eric, is he? Well, he looks like he knows how to handle himself. You could have picked a worse traveling companion, that's for certain. Now tell me something. Have you heard of pet powers? Yes, I have. 
basically what happens when a spell and abilities are mixed together in various combinations, and I believe me, they're well worth it. Hehe, <laughs> I can see you've piqued your interest. Alright, let me think. Ah, of course. I've got just the one for you to try. I'm pretty sure that if you and your friend Eric put your minds to it, you better master this little cracker down, uh, known as Real Decoy. All you need to do is team up and try it, some helpless monster. You'll soon see how incredible it is. Well, what do you say? Fancy giving it a try? Sure. Oh, you got a gold chain for it. Nice. Real decoy pet power. It won't work unless people performing it are pepped up. And what does that mean, you ask? It's when you're in battle and monsters attack you, you suddenly find that you're focused and ready for anything. Takes two to tango. Oh, there's a wee. I see a wee board in there. There it is. Hey, Al. Oh, what are you doing? You're mental. This is cool. <clears throat> yes, that's correct. Akira Toriyama. Mr. Akira Toriyama himself. Finds a hardy hide. Hardy, hardy hide. Yeah, he's a legend, eh? I find his I find his uh, art style when it concerns characters though really weird. Like just the way they're drawn, they look kind of odd, you know. But it is a legendary art style though, like you can clearly tell it's his style, you know. Florpo finds a pointy hat. Cool. Um, equipment. What do I get? Is that better in any way? Yes it is. Oft. It's a magical... Wolf. Guys, so nice to see you all. Thank you for stopping in. I think uh, I'm in a bit of a, I'm, I'm in a, a slight bit of pain right now, though, guys. I'm going to I'm going to uh, call the stream there. I want to thank you so very much for stopping by, though. I'm going to quickly save it, and uh, we can maybe host somebody. Eh? Let's see who's on right now. If there's anybody on that I know that can maybe be hosted. But yeah, guys, I want to thank you so, so very much from the, the deepest recesses of my being. Thank you so very much for the follows, guys. Uh, thank you so very much to Lard for the, the amazing uh, raid there. That was amazing. Um, yeah, no, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I'm just going to quickly see if there's anybody on that I know. Not really. Guys, you are free to go. <laughs> there's there's nobody really on right now that I know that's like that I can like host or whatever or raid or whatever. So yeah, guys, thanks so very much again. Thank you guys. Um again if you liked what you've seen, please hit that follow button. I'll be on tomorrow again probably for some more. Um and yeah, thank you guys. Uh thank you, Laxor. Boro Silicase. <laughs> uh, yeah, much appreciated, buddy. Thanks again for the, the follow. And I'll see you guys later, eh? Thanks again, guys. Bye for now, eh? Bye!